The expected delivery dates are Federal Level Port Stimulus Check for $1,400 and this one including people receiving Social Security, SSI, SSDI, VA benefits, RRB, people on retirement, low income, fixed income, basically everybody right here into the US economy. Government can print the money. Now inflation is represented by this red line. Now let's say this red line starts off high with indicating the high inflation then it will start dropping once again indicating a deflation now during the period of deflation government can print the money and they can stimulate the economy via stimulus check the government can then print money via stimulus check to try push the red line back up like this and they must make sure that they do in a way that it does not cause further inflation by doing so and they can stimulate the economy via stimulus check job losses due to unemployment rate increase and economic forecasts are suggesting that recession will be around today in this video i'll be sharing you some of the important details regarding a fourth federal level stimulus check when you can expect how much money can you able to receive and honestly this looks very promising as we see many signs which clearly shows that there could be a federal fourth level stimulus check so guys without wasting any time let me show you all the important details what experts are saying and what data is talking about it so let's get right into it all right guys so the first important question i see right here into the community honestly people are asking whether we can expect a federal port stimulus check or not whether it's $1,400 $1,200 $2,000 $2,600 or any of that value for that matter you know what guys according to some reports analysts and economists some of the top bank CEOs basically the year 2023 is year of reckoning this means that we are likely be going to see another 2000 or 2008 like financial crisis now I don't want to increase your fear but let me tell you guys let me be honest with you i think we are going to see something this year i think it's the most likely scenario given the current economic situation we need to stay informed about all the important changes all the updates we need to prepare with the latest situation in the economy so i'm going to do my best to keep you up to date on all the latest information all the new updates so guys make sure to subscribe to our channel how to guys turn on all the bell notification make sure to hit that like share this video and let's jump right into all the details now to analyze whether there is a possibility of stimulus checks in the united states there would have to be a massive job loss and much pain in the economy three billion job losses due to unemployment rate increase and economic forecasts are suggesting that recession in quarter three and quarter four will be around the holidays and you know what guys a potential impact of a holiday recession would be onto the stock market bottom a stock market bottom will leading to a billionaire and top one percent earners benefiting from that important stock market event speaking of a potential stimulus check in order for the stimulus check to be approved what we need the important catalyst in passing stimulus check is recession the condition of the economy and many other factors recession is usually and historically the one of the factor that leads to a stock market bottom if recession hasn't technically started yet then pain in the stock market could be still ahead and this suggests that stock market hasn't hit bottom and it's possible that there is no recession now let's say if there is a sudden wave of 3 million jobless individuals in that scenario government would want to intervene if there is sudden event like that the basically the velocity of the money suggesting that when one person spends money it circulates through the economy four to five times and with actually three billion people having less money to spend well you know what that would mean the impact could be as much as about 12 to 13 million people without having their jobs that means less money about four to five times less money into the economy now granted employment insurance program could stop of the jobless spiral from expanding there are tons of employment insurance program available to stop this jobless spiral but you have to take this seriously because if 12 million people are unemployed then companies earnings will plummet instantly leading to less employment and depressionally spiral in the economy and a simple solution to this issue is sending out stimulus check in economy that will quickly stimulate the economy and government and federal reserve will have to amplify the debt ceiling that's another possible solution also speaking of third possible solution well biden administration could spend on chip related investment via the chip sack and biden administration is loosely interpreting the law of the chip sack leading to about three times of the spending than estimated now spending in chip manufacturing could be interpreted so loosely that it could be three to five times more expensive than previously thought and biden administration could justify this more spending three to four times more spending under the existing act without help from congress bipartisan effort
efforts could potentially expand the unemployment protections with some work requirements that's one possibility but as per the estimates goldman sachs estimates 390 billion dollars in already authorized stimulus spending and believed it would be you know three times as much now money is the simple answer speaking in the money sense well the answer is yes what they can do is quantitative easing formerly known as just printing out more money and then give it to the people yes the answer is yes that's something possible very much possible to send out stimulus check into economy biden administration is increasing stimulus check which golden sachs estimate it would end up costing about 1.2 trillion dollars and congress could potentially increase the unemployment compensation and stimulus check in a bipartisan way as long as people agree to look for work in conclusion federal reserve and congress might issue another round of stimulus check if economic recession lasts for a very long time it's unlikely that amount of money will be given as much as the first round that we have seen in the last years but you know what biden administration is likely to use the stimulus money to aid the chip and energy sectors currently inflation reduction act will not reduce the inflation but instead it will increase it dumping more money into chip sector and energy sector to pull out of the recession and inflation reduction act is a reuse and will instead increase the inflation biden administration can loosely interpret the rules in order to allow a massive spending and job opportunities in chip manufacturing such as ev solar and hydro there are chances that congress will be working together to raise unemployment compensation with looking for a work requirement while you know what stimulating the economy slowing the economy can happen if inflation is conquered now inflation proving to be transitory with the data from the shipping cost out of china shipping cost out of china has caused transitory inflation and people have asked how stimulus check would be given with the inflation present so to understand this example better here you can see now inflation is represented by this red line now let's say this red line starts off high with indicating the high inflation then it will start dropping once again indicating a deflation now during the period of deflation government can print the money and they can stimulate the economy via stimulus check the government can then print money via stimulus check to try push the red line back up like this and they must make sure that they do in a way that it does not cause further inflation by doing so now there is one possibility as you can see from this chart the cost of shipping from china has plummeted and this could be what our inflation should look like hope this example got you better understanding whether you should expect stimulus check or not now you know what inflation needs to go away in order to allow our stimulus check to be issued and this requires pushing the economy into nasty recession government therefore will print money but less than last time to in order to avoid the inflation and the goal overall goal is for the inflation to increase via stimulus check in that event deflation could also occur if government does not accomplish this also there is another possibility which is they screw up something that is also possible and that could lead to the deflation and the charts are showing that the shipping cost out of china if it's plummeting which is an indication that what inflation might look like and it is also possible for the inflation to stay higher for a very longer period of duration and in that particular event of a deep and dark recession stimulus check could be sent out in order to prevent the deflation but let me tell you guys at this point in time no stimulus check on a federal level port stimulus check has not been approved in any dollar values so make sure you note this fact once i get any latest details i will keep you posted so guys make sure to hit that like share this video subscribe to our channel and this is kedar from how to guys see you in the next video